Carpe vermes. All the animals shown in this video are animals that landowners have specifically asked to have removed from their properties. Starting off with armadillos. This armadillo was taken with a 6.5 Grendel firing Hornet DSST 123 green ammo using an IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon sight. The shot down the length of the body caused the shell to explode. This next armadillo was taken using 6.5 Grendel Federal Burger OTM 130 grain ammo at about 100 yards. It was a transverse shot through the shell, just as lethal but not nearly the damage. Next come a couple of skunks. I don't like hunting skunks. They make for terrible trophy pictures. I'm hunting with my buddy Roy. Roy's going to be taking the opening shot here. We're both lined up watching the skunk. Three, two, one. And he blows it off the ground. We both figure it's probably dead, but then it starts to move a little bit, and I'll take the follow-up shot here. Nope. Nope. And surprisingly, even after that, it moved again, so Roy decided to put one more shot into it. Here's the same sequence of events through Roy's Pulsar Trail XQ38. There he's blown the skunk into the air. This will be my follow-up shot. And Roy's final shot. And the problem with skunks and trophy pictures is that sometimes upon being shot they spray and spray gets everywhere. This is the next skunk. We're going to use Roy's video here because the video recorder cut out on me. That's my shot. And here's Roy taking the follow-up shot on it. And my video of Roy's follow-up shot. Okay. And after stepping in the spray of the first skunk, this trophy picture was taken from much further away. This next animal was a gray fox bothering animals in the barnyard. I got asked to go after it. I spotted it just as it came to a stop, had turned on the recorder, and the shot happened just that fast. Unfortunately, did not get a chance to get any of the preliminary recording done, but there it is in slow motion. The Hornady ELD Match 123 grain ammo certainly did a number on this little fox. The same problem happened with this next coyote. I turned on my collar. Put up my scanner, looked out, he was right by the collar, got my rifle up, got the recorder turned on, made the shot, and all that I captured was the coyote after it was down. At 54 yards, the Hornet D SST-123 grain ammo tore a huge hole in his shoulder, but he was still alive, and I had to finish him off with a coup de grace from my pistol. Carpe Vermes, my friends.